Ever wondered if you've ever crossed paths with a psychopath? Well, today we're diving into the psychology of these intriguing individuals. Psychopathy is a vast spectrum, shrouded in mystery. Understanding the seven key indicators of psychopathy isn't just intellectually stimulating, it's crucial for personal safety and awareness. These signs can be subtle and often go unnoticed. But fear not, we're here to shed light on this enigmatic topic. So, ready to uncover the mystery? Stay tuned. Indicator 1 is superficial charm. Psychopaths often possess a deceptive manipulative charm that can draw you in. This isn't the genuine charm we find in people with a magnetic personality or charismatic aura. No, this charm is superficial as fleeting as smoke. It's a calculated act, a performance designed to lure you into their web. It's like the siren's song, beautiful to hear but deadly in its intent. Imagine a chameleon changing its colors to blend in. That's what a psychopath does. They adapt their charm to what you want to see, what you want to hear. They become the perfect friend, the ideal partner, the dream boss. But it's all a mirage, a facade. They use this charm to manipulate, to control, to exploit. They'll make you feel special but remember it's just a ploy. It's a dangerous game they play and the stakes are high. Beware this charm is a mask hiding their true intentions. Indicator 2. A glaring lack of empathy. Psychopaths simply do not feel for others. This characteristic is a cold hard truth at the core of psychopathy. They're not capable of placing themselves in someone else's shoes, feeling their pain, or understanding their emotional state. This void of empathy shapes their interactions, often leading to callous and insensitive behavior. Think of a time when you shared a personal struggle with someone, expecting support, and instead received a cold, indifferent response. That's a glimpse into an interaction with a psychopath. They remain unmoved by the emotions of others, whether it's sadness, joy, or distress. This lack of empathy extends to their relationships where they remain aloof and unattached. This doesn't mean they can't fake empathy, in fact they're quite adept at mimicking emotions to blend in or manipulate. But be aware beneath the facade, genuine empathy is absent. Remember, a lack of empathy is a red flag. Let's expose Indicator 3, Pathological Lying. Psychopaths are masters of deception. Now lying in itself isn't exclusive to psychopaths, we all tell white lies from time to time. But the difference lies in the extent and purpose of these lies. For a psychopath, lying is a tool, a means to an end. They weave intricate webs of deceit to manipulate those around them, often with no regard for the emotional fallout. Imagine a friend who constantly feeds you tales of their extraordinary accomplishments only for you to discover that none of it is true. Or a co-worker who persistently shirks responsibility by blaming others for their own mistakes. These are classic examples of pathological lying. They lie to gain power, control, or simply to create a more exciting version of themselves. It's a pattern of dishonesty so pervasive, it becomes their second nature. So, if the truth seems too elusive, it's time to question. Unveiling Indicator 4. Manipulative Behavior. Psychopaths use others for their own gain. You see they are astute observers of human nature. They study people, learning their strengths and more importantly, their weaknesses. They use this knowledge to their advantage manipulating people like puppeteers controlling marionettes. Consider this example. A psychopath might build up a person's confidence making them feel special and unique. They're not doing this out of genuine admiration though. They're simply setting up their chessboard, placing their pieces strategically. Once they've gained that person's trust, they exploit it, using it to extract favors, information or whatever else they desire. This manipulation often takes place subtly, almost imperceptibly. It's not a sudden shift but a gradual one, like a ship changing course. And before you know it, you're not steering your own ship anymore. Remember, psychopaths are skilled at manipulation, it's their primary tool. Manipulation is their game, don't let yourself be a pawn. Revealing Indicator 5. Impulsivity. Psychopaths rarely consider the consequences. This trait is often characterized by rash decisions, spontaneous actions, and a seemingly heedless approach to life. They are like a moth to a flame, drawn to immediate gratification despite the risks involved. Imagine a friend who constantly makes hasty decisions that lead to chaos, like quitting a stable job on a whim or making extravagant purchases they can't afford. Or think about that individual who always seems to stir the pot, creating drama at every turn, seemingly just for the thrill of it. These are signs of impulsivity, a hallmark trait of a psychopath. But remember, impulsivity alone doesn't make someone a psychopath, it's when this trait is combined with the other indicators we've discussed that the picture starts to become clearer. 
Impulsive actions without fear of consequences is another key indicator. Indicator 6 is irresponsibility. Psychopaths shirk responsibility at every turn. Now what does this mean? Well, it's not just about forgetting to take out the trash or neglecting to pick up after themselves. We're talking about a deep-seated pattern of neglecting duties and obligations. For a psychopath, responsibility is like a hot potato. They'll do anything to avoid holding on to it. They'll find ways to blame others, shift the focus or simply ignore the issue entirely. At work, they might miss deadlines or fail to deliver on promises. In relationships, they might be unfaithful or unreliable. Consider this scenario. You lend a friend a sum of money. They promise to pay you back. But when the time comes, they come up with a myriad of excuses. Worse, they might even blame you for their financial troubles. This kind of irresponsibility is a classic sign of psychopathy. Remember, a psychopath will never take responsibility for their actions. Finally, Indicator 7, Lack of Remorse. Psychopaths feel no guilt for their actions. Therein lies one of the most chilling aspects of their personality. They can cause harm, create chaos, and leave destruction in their wake, all without a shred of regret or empathy. Imagine a person who breaks a valuable antique and instead of feeling sorry they shrug it off as if it were nothing more than a trifle. Or consider someone who betrays a friend, a partner, or even a family member, and instead of regret they feel a sense of achievement. These examples may seem extreme, yet they are typical behaviors of a psychopath. This lack of remorse is not a choice they make. It is an inherent part of their personality. They simply do not possess the emotional depth to feel guilt or regret. This characteristic makes them dangerous, as they are capable of repeating harmful actions without any emotional repercussions. No remorse, no guilt, this is the final indicator. Now that you've been armed with these seven indicators, you can better navigate the world around you. And so, conclude our journey into the mind of a psychopath. We've unmasked the seven indicators, each a piece of the intricate puzzle that makes up a psychopath's personality. Let's recap, shall we? Our first indicator was the superficial charm, the psychopath's go-to tool for manipulation. Their charisma, their allure, it's all a facade to lure you into their web. It's not genuine but a calculated move to get what they want. Then we delved into their lack of empathy. It's hard to imagine, isn't it, a world where the feelings and emotions of others hold no relevance, no resonance. But that's the reality for a psychopath, they're unable to connect on a deeper emotional level making their interactions cold and detached. Our third indicator was pathological lying. A psychopath's world is built on falsehoods and deceit. They lie with ease and without remorse, crafting intricate tales that serve their purposes. Next, we talked about manipulative behavior. A psychopath will play you like a chess piece, moving you around to suit their game. They're masters of manipulation, bending situations and people to their will. The fifth indicator was impulsivity. A psychopath lives for the moment, throwing caution to the wind. They're prone to rash decisions, often leading to trouble. Then we discussed irresponsibility. A psychopath shirks responsibility, blaming others for their actions. They refuse to up to their mistakes, making them difficult to deal with. Lastly, we unveiled their lack of remorse. A psychopath feels no guilt for their actions, no matter how damaging they may be. They're void of any moral compass, making their actions unpredictable and often dangerous. Understanding these indicators is your first line of defense. It arms you with the knowledge to identify and deal with psychopaths in your life. But remember, not every charming, impulsive person is a psychopath. These indicators are not definitive proof, but signs to watch out for. Remember, knowledge is power. Stay safe, stay alert. Also, for those interested in learning more about managing personal and professional relationships, make sure to check out the relationship courses available in the video description.